Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the fifth episode from season two of Dead Like Me. We're already pretty far into the show. And uh, before I start, I want to tell you that you can even get further into the show because there's already some more episodes available on my Patreon under the early access tier. On there, you can also find my full reactions to these episodes. The link is in the description. So check it out if you're interested. So we just had an episode about like... Um, the way you behave, do you care if people like you, stuff like that. I feel like George kind of had a, like an, an internal crisis about this whole subject. And uh, yeah, it was just a nice episode, but not a lot more to say about it. Um, so yeah, let's just watch the fifth episode now. I'm very curious what's going to happen. So let's check it out. When I was a kid, life was all about what's next. Seventh grade sucks. Wait till I'm in eighth grade. And then, fuck eighth grade, high school's gonna rock. Yeah. Thing, someone forgot to tell me that the finish line was 18. There are people who are always on time. I hate those people. I was not on time, ever, for anything. I was late from the start. <laughs> for the start, late was just who I was. Stop! You always feel, well, rushed. Late sucks. Where are you off to? Post office. Oh my god, I know this guy. I know my read. H. Soriano. Horatio? That's all I got. Herman. Shit. Herm works for Mercury Messengers and he used to, you know, do a bit of extra courier jobs on the side. If you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, that's how he knows him. He owes me 200 bucks. You got a package, but you got no time. Use Mercury and you'll be just fine. Whoosh. <laughs> a little early for the Andrews sisters. Hey, I reaped one of them. I can't remember which one. What can I get for you? Blueberry oh, Let's mm -hmm. try again. If I was Giffney, I would be so done with everyone's shit there. I'll show Rube early. I'll get there so fucking early. I'll reap him twice. <laughs> I'm already late for work. 20 minutes isn't gonna kill me. Again. How about some oatmeal this morning? Raisin? On the house, sweetie. Good things come to those who wait. Where are my effing keys? Try your effing purse. <laughs> Don't say effing. Hmm. JD. <laughs> Different JD, but JD. Girl, you're gonna be blind. I gotta say, the glasses are really ugly though. Maybe just get some like stylus glass glasses. Stare at screen. Swivel. <laughs> <laughs> I was on time. I'm working. You were not on time. Problem at two o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. No wonder you're always late. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh, no. He's here to monitor happy time's efficiency. I don't like anything about him. I'm going to tell you something personal and in the strictest confidence. I have a mole. Ew. Is it cancerous? Oh, not that kind of mole, you silly goose. I know a muckety-muck in the head office. He tells me things. Should I give him a code name? Who? My big mole. Ew. Sure. What should I call him? Molly Molers. <laughs> Tells me. Great. Okay, so be efficient. Today? Management consultants, they're all reapers. What? Can I count on you today, Nellie? Oh, shit. You can. How's everything going, Ms. Herbig? Everyone calls me DH. It's faster. Going great. Right. DH. Mm -hmm. More like BS. <laughs> Why are you still wearing a ring? Because I'm not divorced. You people have your rituals and I have mine. Okay. I feel like he knows exactly where to find people like that. Sup? What's up? What's happening? Do any of you chaps know I hate Soriano? Skinny dude with a couple of tattoos. We're all skinny dudes with a couple of tats. Yes, you are. Firm's on his way. Um... <laughs> you don't ever forget. Mm. Okay. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm low English. Have you ever been to Hawaii? I just got back from a vacation in Hawaii. I'm here to pick up my mail. It's really <sighs> sunny, but I Actually, I'm from New York. I've never been to New York. I don't think I'd like it though. All those tall buildings and everything. You look a little like them, only older and angrier. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Oh, people like, like that are so annoying. Sweetheart, God love you for coming. You're gonna have a 
fabulous time. Yeah, and what exactly is going on here? <laughs> Pretty and funny. A whole package. You're gonna kill in there. Tell me your name, doll. Daisy Adair. Oh, first names only discourages the stalker element. Daisy. Hi, Lydia. There's a dress code, and your skirt needs to actually cover your ass. I don't care where your tattoo is. You cannot show crack at the office. I have to call you back. May I help you with something? Was that call of a business nature? The way DH runs things around here, there isn't any other kind. May I ask you a question? That is a question. Would you like to ask me another one? Do you routinely use off-color language as part of your business lexicon? Sometimes off-colored language is the most efficient way to convey an idea. As in, get the fuck away from my cubicle. You don't need to say returning so-and-so's call. You can just say returning. Saves time. Saves time for what? Thank you. Welcome. Oh my god, I feel so watched. You're constantly. Also, I love the, the devil duck. <laughs> Each date is two minutes. No talk about work and first names only. Yow. Daisy. Hello, Daisy. Anything you want to ask the kid? Um... What's, uh, what's your last name? Uh, hey, last name spelled commitment. I'm all about the here. The now. But I mean, she knows the first letter, right? So that already eliminates some people. <laughs> last name. <laughs> Mandel. This is fun. No physical threats to the gentleman. I need to repeat customers. I'm new. This is one way to find the person you have to reap. <laughs> Come on! Come on! Move it! Damn. He can do that better than I can. Excuse me. And it is my pleasure to address the baggage situation on flight 127 from Hong Kong. If I do not get my trunk, I am fucked. Do you understand fucked? Oh, yes, ma'am, I do. But I also understand that anger and foul language is not going to make this process go any faster. I have been waiting here one hour. Can you step back and calm down? Because I'm getting ready to do my thing. One. Roxy likes that. Three. Air piece to the baggage handlers on the tarmac. I have to say, being a police officer, I feel like that might help you in some situations. As in, you can get in easier. Like, if you have to reap someone and you don't really know how to get to them. As a police officer, I think you're, you're like, easier. You can always make up an excuse to get inside somewhere. Passenger Jones. Here. Passenger Thibodeau. Who was on the note again? Was it a woman? Because this is what I need, more stupid Americans to keep me from where I'm going. You just need to stay calm. Calm is for losers. I have places to go. <laughs> she sounds so cringe. For losers. That's what 10 year olds say, come on. Jeff. Alan. We shouldn't waste time, Jeff. You and I know connection. What? I don't like mustaches. Seriously, I almost shaved it off right before I came. Even if you shaved it, I'd always see it. Really? So if there's not someone that even starts with it with a yay, J, then for her it's like, never mind. Nice meeting you. This is honestly a funny way of finding uh, someone, as in who you have to reap. This is it. Reggie's van, uniform, you told me to pick it up. It's pretty adorable. Do I have one of the hats? Oh. <laughs> Chin strap and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Epaulets, could you just die? Okay, we're all here. Let's get going. Questions. You're taking Reggie for Christmas? We're going to Mexico for Thanksgiving. Going to Cancun? Does it really matter where I'm going? I'm, I'm going. So I get Reggie for Thanksgiving when she hates the food. What do you want, Joy? Can I borrow your pen? <laughs> the fancy one in your pocket, do you mind? Be my guest. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't just get to decide that, right? They have to come to an agreement. Hello there, Jack. Right. You're dying to date that hump over there. Well, he is handsome, but I look for many other qualities in a man. Is your last name Alan? I know for a fact that guy has herpes. <laughs> fact. How insecure must you be? You despise men, don't you? What? You come here because you hate men. You're God, I hope your last name's Alan. All the women I know hate men. <laughs> no, they just hate you. Yeah, I think it's a personal problem. <laughs> Stephanie, copier needs toner. And is that another Stephanie? You. 
Where's the old Stephanie? Sandwich boy, where are the sandwiches? In reception. Are there hungry people in reception? No, they're in here, starving. And the Ted has not been given a task. The Ted is taskless. TNT, Ted and Ted. Ted unmute. I felt a little like Rube handing out post-its. Yeah, honestly. Like, yeah. Go, don't dilly dally. Time is money, people. I can't believe I just said dilly dally. I feel dirty. I remember something with Amelia Earhart. I loved her. I raped her. Whoa, I just realized, like, imagine Amelia Earhart just made me think about that, but Imagine someone dies in a plane. How are you gonna get into that plane when it's already in the air? I don't know, sometimes I just think I shouldn't take this show too serious. Also, something that's really been bothering me is the idea that people view them different than they actually look like. But at the same time, we've never seen Daisy look different. We've never see seen Rube. Only um, George and Mason. And I feel like they just kind of forgot about it in this season. Like it's not a thing anymore or something. I don't know, it's weird. So I just try to overlook it all. Oh, really? <laughs> Damn. It's almost like a game or something. It's a joke, right? So it was my time. Nice. Hi. Excuse me. You look great. Thank you. What a day I've had. Uh, her daughter's in my son's class. Is everyone in this line an asshole? Excuse me? Is everyone you just cut in front of an asshole? No. So it's just you then? I have children in the car. So? I got a cake in the oven. I get in the back of the line. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't do that with Rube. Shame. Nice. <laughs> you need to be really stylish or really rich to pull that off. Or are you gay? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> smell an obsession with UFOs. Suddenly so many people who, whose name starts with a G. <laughs> what was he even trying there? Man, you get the patience of Job. Airport's not a happy place for a lot of people, but I'm happy. I believe that tends to rub off on people. I don't work that way. Makes anger a much easier choice. You used to be on the job. <laughs> Nice to meet you, officer. I'm here to pick up a package. I'll just take a minute. Take two. This is interesting. What's that? This has been in the dead letter office for a while. Why didn't this get to where it was going? I wouldn't know that, sir. Perhaps the people moved. No, they didn't move. I wasn't there. This is almost 80 years, 80 years old. This is unacceptable. Sir, it might be unacceptable, but it is the way it is. It took a long while to make its way back, but now you have it. 80 years? Who, who is this from? This is a terrible mistake. On behalf of the U.S. Postal System, I apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused you or your family. I have no idea. What is it? Hi, James. Hi, Daisy. Well, what's your last name, James? Bond. James Bond. <laughs> Thought that might be funny. No, it's funny. It's funny. I just uh, been here a while. Me too. 17 times, actually. Wow. Oh, I'm terrible. No one ever writes me down. Well, maybe you just haven't met the right girl. Are you the right girl, Daisy? I'm in two minutes. Must be him, probably. <laughs> I guess it's hard to remember someone who just listens. Well, I'll remember you. I really enjoyed spending... Make your move, speed daters! Hurry up! It's Alan. Why didn't she ask? What if he just walked away? Goodbye. The devil duck. <laughs> or what didn't happen at all. Have I ever sat in an aisle seat, Diana? What is up with this man? You are in good hands. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, it's gonna be a painful death. Well, they take their soul, so there's no pain. But still, painful. Looks painful. Oh, I don't think you should climb in there. Come on now, lady. Suitcase is gonna fall on top of her, isn't it? This 
is very inconvenient. You're dead. Yes. <laughs> That's what you get from being impatient. Damn. Let's go. Whoa. I feel like the subjects always come back because in the beginning, George was the only one who stayed there and, and Tiffany was like, on the house, because that's what patient people get. It's always so hidden or something, but it's there. And this has also something to do with patience, like how fast are you and, and like this guy wants everything to go so fast. I think the subjects always kind of come back. It's nice. It's not very personal. Exactly. Is the amount of time you need to talk to your employees. Well, that's just fantastic. <laughs> no matter how quickly everyone did their job today, someone somewhere would be punching out before five. Yep, and it's gonna be her. Come on, Reggie, let's see. I'm not going. Please. <laughs> oh, JD. <laughs> oh, Taking a picture. No way. Too late. I have to get a camera. Just stay right there. I hate this. <laughs> it does look kind of cute. Shut up. No love for JD anymore, even. Reggie? <laughs> He's still uh, chasing the guy. Um, Damn, he well, is fast. Mason's got his exercise for the day. You're gonna be a very busy girl. Busy, busy, busy. James. Oh. James. Oh, that's Don't sad. My name down. I did. You were just trying to be nice. No, I really liked you. I like you too. You seem nice. You really go out with me? Sure. In a New York minute. But he's gonna do it anyway. Or he's gonna slip now or something. Why don't you come with me, James? Chills. You are the most beautiful woman there. I know. Honestly, the moment she said, Why don't you come with me, James? I was like, Wait, is he dead already? Because is she gonna guide him to his lights now? But the way they did that, oof. I don't I don't want you to be left out. Help you run in there. You know? George wanna put this crappy uniform on. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't wanna wear glasses anymore. What? Everyone calls me Harry Potter. I don't like it. Just get nice glasses instead of those. Anything else you want to you want to tell me? Anything? Forget it. I'm late. Reggie! What? Don't just run across the street without looking. Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell are you thinking about? I mean, I get it. She lost a child Reggie, already. I'm sorry. Picture. You look so beautiful. I'm late. <laughs> Come on, Mason, you got this. <laughs> I'm a stupid man. What's up, dude? Um, Mason, 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 you don't look so good, man. I need some money, don't I? Hum, 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 hum. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Huh? That doesn't sound like the Mason I know. Come on, man. Get up out of that gutter. But honestly, he could have just went to the place that was set on the cart ride because that's where they die. Why did he follow him for so long? You forgot his sticks, man. Oh, I hope the sticks hey, are not Mason, involved. What do you call the guy who hangs out with three musicians? The drummer. <laughs> Later, man. Let me scramble. Oh. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> the way at first I was like, oh, he's probably just like a crappy drug dealer. So I don't care too much. But then he was so nice. And I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of sad. After appointment. Oh, fine. I can just smell that raise. If you're skating over thin ice, you better go fast. 
What if we just avoided the ice altogether? Yo, Millie, what up, dog? Yo, Ted. So, Dolores, when do I get my last check? What? I fired Ted. I'm toast. The Luego Ted. Ted Meister over and out. A check, please, for the Tedster. Why did you fire Ted? Stay out of it, Millie. Ted's funny! <laughs> funny, Ted. I think she had to do it from the guy. Is the Ted drunk? Oh. Ted. Okay, fair then. <laughs> Bye, Ted. Millie will miss you. I feel like that's something that could have saved someone's life. Probably his child. Is this real money? It was. You okay? Just a long day. Have you handled your post-it yet? I'm on my way. Don't be late. I won't be. And it's also the package that was not on time then. Yeah, it's like uh, the subject on this episode is definitely time. Ooh. Hmm. I really hope we're, we're gonna find out more about Ruth's past one time. And the whole time I was thinking, what's next? Maybe people should just find one pretty spot. The funny thing is, when you die, everyone refers to you as late. But now I know that's the one event that always happens right on time. What the fuck? Another red light? Oh! <laughs> I see. They've it's also so been been hinting problem. towards that for the entire episode. Can you push the little button right there? Push the button right the walk. Call me back. Once is enough. I don't have time for this shit. All right. <laughs> don't come this way. I'll show you. Let me know when you're ready. There's no hurry. For once taking a break in his life. Okay. I have to say, in the middle of this episode, I was kind of like, hmm, it's a bit boring up to now. But the way they ended all of these stories, I think that was so well taught through. So like I said a couple of times, the subject that constantly comes back was time. I feel like they do that in all the episodes and sometimes they're a bit more clear to me and sometimes they're not. I think the Rube storyline, even though we didn't know too much about it, I kind of have a feeling that it was about like money he sent to probably his daughter and his wife or ex-wife or whatever uh, and that they didn't get it on time and that the life would have been life-saving or something like that. I think that's the case here, but we don't know any more details, but he seems so sad about that. So I feel like it is something like that that happened. I feel like we finally saw some emotions from Rube here now, and I feel like we don't see them that often. Like I said before, I really hope we're, we're sometime gonna find out like exactly what his past is because i feel like in a lot of episodes we've, we've gotten like small hints of stuff that was happening to rube uh, but they never really explained to us what it was so yeah i'm curious about that i really hope that they, they'll like fix that in the like before the end of the season like that we know that at least uh, and otherwise maybe because the show is cancelled maybe they'll discuss it in the movie i don't know uh, but I really want to get to know more about that. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say about the Mason storyline, to be honest. Because it was just like him chasing a guy with a bike. I just didn't get why he didn't just go to the the place that that happened. Because I feel like they normally do that. Normally they just go to the place where that happens. But he kept chasing him. Oh, Daisy storyline. That was... Yeah. At first I was like, okay, the same thing happens over and over. She meets this new dude at the speed dating. She asks for his last name. That's about it. Then the last guy... This is one thing that also made me like Daisy more. At first you think, okay, she's this narcissist who only cares about herself. In the beginning, I felt like she was kind of rude to everyone. Um, now in the end, we see her with this guy. The guy was obviously very insecure because no one ever wanted to like go out with him a second time or write his name down. I don't know exactly how that works. She wrote him down. And I feel like, okay, obviously she wasn't there to actually speed date. We know that. But she wrote him down and he was like, yeah, you just did that out of pity. But 
I felt like she was actually serious. I felt like she actually thought, okay, this is a good guy. And she wrote him down with like... Yeah, it's a bit hard to say because she wasn't there on s for serious intentions. But it wasn't all out of pity, I feel like. So um, then in the end when he jumped or slipped or whatever. I don't know what the truth is <laughs> about that. Um, that was wild. Because at first I thought he still had to jump. I think that's what they wanted us to feel like. And then the way Daisy was kind of trying to persuade him not to jump. But at the same time, I feel like she wasn't really trying. Because we all know he was going to die anyway. Otherwise, Daisy wouldn't be there. And then to find out that he was dead already. Like, what the hell? But I think she handled that so well. Also, after he died already, when she was like, why don't you come with me? And then kind of the thing that, that, that he wanted, just like to be remembered by a woman... Uh, someone to write him down that happened in the end and I think that was kind of a nice ending for him so I, I really appreciate what Daisy did there uh, she handled that well and then of course we had the Roxy uh, storyline at the airport which was kind of funny the woman was so impatient and I'm not saying when you're impatient and stuff like that you you should die that's not what I'm saying here but I do think she kind of got what was coming for her. As in, in this show, people die all the time. So when people die, I'd rather have them be assholes than like really nice, sweet children or like just people, you know. Like, for example, the child in the first episode. That's I'd rather have them be like a bitch or something like that. Still, like I said, that's not reason to want someone to die. But you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, I think I discussed all the storylines then. Oh yeah, and then we had the work storyline, but honestly, I thought that was pretty boring. I don't really, I'm not that much into the happy time storylines anymore because I feel like they're kind of the same. Still, I have to say the whole Dolores presence makes it kind of funny and Crystal. They're characters you don't really like, but at the same time, they really make it more funny. So, but in this episode, I wasn't too interested. So I think that was my reaction. Like I said before, if you already want to see some more episodes, check out my Patreon. And of course, if you want to see this reaction uncut, the link's in the description, check it out. And if you like my reaction to this, then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I really hope to see you next time. Bye.